Right, well welcome to part one of my video diary. I'm Lee Morris and every month for the Bait Tech website I'm going to be posting up a video. Well I say every month, I'll try and get one in every month but throughout the next year I'm going to be basically recording my fishing, showing you what I do out on the bank. It's going to be a bit raw stuff really. There might be a few focusing issues here and there and uh, a few sound issues but you'll have to bear with that because like I say it's all self footage. But, um, oh, easy beast. Right, well, we're in October now, so I'll be filming, like I say, throughout the year. I'll show you how, how to hopefully put a few scaly ones like this little fella on the bank, and hopefully you enjoy the show. As you see here, another lovely little scaly one on that inch stiff rig. Beautiful little fish they are. This is the first time you've seen a carp, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're a bit scared. Oh, see mummy. Oh, you want to go and see mummy, do you? <laughs> well, after the success the other day, I thought I'd bring the kids along. He's never he's never been carp fishing, so this is his first carp fishing trip. And um, what I'll show you, I'll show you the rig back home at the at the rig then so um, I'll show you how that rig's tied back there and um, you're right and this way not a massive one but lovely little scaly one got the lake to ourselves which is great do you want to have a look yeah. look come round here then come round and have a look go on come round have a look touch him no you don't want to touch him well like I said it's lovely to be having him and hopefully there's a few more to come. Top stuff. Job's done. Right, here comes my little in. Come here, mate. Do you want to have a look at that? No. Look, he's a little one. <laughs> that little one? Yeah, little one. Do you want to come and hold him? No. You don't want to hold him? Why not? Come on, come and have a little hold. Touch him. No. Go on. No. Right, so that's the second one of the day, which is great. I'm going to get this one back. Get the rod out there and tell you what I'm using bait wise which is just nice and simple really nothing difficult just the hinge stiff rig with a fluorescent well, well with the fluoro bait tech pop up over the top which is in the coconut sweet coconut I'm using let's get this beautiful little fella back and get the rod back out there top stuff <laughs> Oh, 
Right, so I'll show you the rig that I'm using. See, it's the hinge stiff rig there. And the bait I'm using is the fluoro pop-ups, the high-vis ones from Bait Tech. And they're in sweet coconut, and it's the 10 to 15 mils. And you've got all different colors in there. I like using, for at the moment, they're on the bright yellow ones. So I'm gonna use that. And all I'm gonna do is just tie the bait onto the hinge stiff rig chuck it in the margins and that's what's doing the damage. A lovely fish just caught a 24. 24 pound. It's the seventh fish of the day. Well, chaff for this one. Lovely looking fish. Beautiful in this October sunshine. Love it. all night it's now nine o'clock in the morning on the 23rd of October and the fish were out there they were mad going mad out there behind that island again last night that building that you can see in the back there that's all lit up at night so it was reflecting out on the mill pond that the lake was last night and I could still see their tails out there every hour big fish doosh, just bosh out there biting me nails hoping that they're gonna move into the area and they have, they, they've moved on my left hand spot, I've seen a couple of bubblers out there, just off, off of that island there's a big gravel bar that runs off of there and the fish have moved this side of it, is, which is where I'm fishing. So I'm just sat here now praying for a bite to happen, it just feels way too carpy for it not to happen. So fingers crossed something does come on the carp. Now I know there's a lot of mixed feeling on uh, the Simo strain out there at the moment. A lot of people are talking as if the sumos are taking over the world, but you know, a carp's a carp in my eyes and I love catching them all the same. As soon as that rod rips off, I still get that same feeling. And when I'm playing that fish, I still get that same buzz. Yeah, it's lovely to catch the scaly ones from time to time, but you know, I'd have walked away from here, probably with my tail between my legs and gone home with an upset blank if it weren't for this little fella just weighed him at 24 pound four chuff not to go home with a blank top stuff let's get him back uh, take the amnesia first bit of amnesia there About a length, sort of half, half a foot. And then that is the boom section done. Have a little bit of a tag end, maybe an inch, inch and a half. Come here. Come here, look. Look at him. Oh, got a bite. Um, yeah, look. You see that there is the boom section. Cradles here. Oh, I must. No, he's right. No, no, it's all right. Come here. Happy days. As I well. <laughs> no, no, yes. Well, this is Louis, by the way. My son's in my left hand spot. I've seen a couple of bubblers out there. We play around with this one, aren't we? Yeah. yeah, you like doing that, don't you? Yeah. There's only about 12 or 30. Yeah, it's raining now, isn't it? But to check every swim, every swim that I walk in, I'm just going to have a little lead about. If you notice, is that I've put two stones. Hopefully we'll see a few fish as well, which would be nice. 
yeah, so let's get to it. The spots that are dirty spots, so that when I'm looking at them, yeah, I'm on a, I'm, I'm on a li little water. They're not fish that much, are they, these swims? No? No. Be having them in this October sun. Love it. Day of the, uh, the flat mats, they're gone, to be honest with you. A big bucket of munga. Because basically the fish, you know, even when you get the little ones, which are the future of our carp fishing, you get them on, they flap about and they flap, flap off the mat and they get damaged. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Let me bait in rod with me little spawn here that the sun's got hold of. But I know that this swim does, does do it by sort of midday when the sun's out. That's one end of the lake. Just a few people to thank. Obviously my beautiful girlfriend for understanding me and my mad fishing ways. And the other end of the lake. Obviously my mum for being the best mum ever. My beautiful daughter Esme, who's now a seven year old woman. My son, obviously, my two year old. Bless the little sumos, they get a lot of stick. And douse a little bit of the cotton bud, put it on where you've hooked the actual fish. And then, you know, that, that fish then, is its mouth's not going to be all muggy and horrible that you see nowadays. And last but not least, Bait Tech, for being the great company that they are and for giving me some of the best experiences I've already had. Hopefully, that continues throughout the future. And get the rod back out there. Top stuff. That way, fella. Say bye. <laughs>